Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Here we go. Oh my goodness, are we really live on YouTube? I hope so. I hope we are now talking to you live across the world, wherever you are watching right now. This is Mr. Duncan. And somewhere, somewhere, there is Mr. Steve as well. So it has taken us almost three hours <laughs> to set this up. We've been walking around for hours and hours. We got up this morning, very early in the morning, at around about four o'clock in the morning. Can you believe that we had to wake up so early? But we did. And then we caught a plane and we landed about an hour later. And that's where we have been since then. So now we are live and we're walking around but the big question is, where are we? I'm not sure if we're going to reveal it just yet. We will first of all see how many people are watching on the live stream. Oh, we have a few people now here watching live. Now I must point out that I can't see the screen very clearly because I'm wearing the wrong glasses. I haven't got my reading glasses on. But here he is, look, here's Mr. Steve. Hello, hello to everybody. Well, I can read the screen, Mr. Duncan. Uh, even though it's very bright where we are, so I'd like to have my glasses on. But if I've got my glasses on, I cannot read. Okay, then. So the you screen. so you can't see it either. I can. <laughs> Blue Thunder's here. Julie G is here. Mohammed is here. Uh, Connell is here. Julie G. Hello to everybody. This is very exciting, Mr. Duncan. Another thing to mention is it's absolutely boiling hot. We've been walking around for the past two hours to get to the place that we want to show you. And this place is somewhere very special, a very famous place that is well known around the world. The city is also very famous and the country that we are in now is also very famous. Can you believe that we are here now, Steve, talking live from our, from our big trip? We set off this morning from Birmingham Airport it took 55 minutes to fly here. So that, that's actually a very big clue. That's a clue as to where we are. So so only 55 minutes by plane. So it is somewhere in Europe. So we are now in a European country and also a European city. But if we'd gone west, we'd have ended up in the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> uh, but we have gone there. One thing for certain, it's very, very dusty. <laughs> it's very dusty here. It's very dusty. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm very surprised by how dusty it is here. There is dust, dirt, lots of people, and it's also very noisy as well. Oh, it's okay. It's all right, Steve is telling me to, to stay there because he thinks we're going to get robbed. But I think we're okay. So, hello to everyone on the live stream. It's very nice to see you here. I almost get, I almost, put, I almost turn around then. Okay, Steve. Yes, okay, Steve. That's fine. Don't worry. And also, we have lots of people here on the live chat saying hello. We are trying not to give away where we are. <laughs> Steve is just scaring me now. He keeps saying that there are people who want to come over. Back to that. Yes, I know. I know, but the Just problem there. is, the problem is there is a large digger now making lots of noise. <laughs> I must admit, I've this... got to look after Mr. Duncan. Okay, good. Uh, uh, this is not how I imagine this place. I, I, I'm a bit surprised. Okay, shall we tell people where we are? I think just in case we can't do it for very long. I think we may need to reveal where we are. See, I'm Mr. Duncan's bodyguard, so you know, if anyone comes along, yes, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to act tough. Yes, Steve said this is a lovely place to do some live streaming, and I said yes, it does look very clear. There aren't many people here, but now I've realised why. It's because <laughs> there is lots of noise. That I don't know why the place we are in at the moment. That there seems to be a lot of construction taking place, a lot of renovation taking place in this particular city. So that might actually give some clues as to where we are. Shall we reveal where we are, Steve? Yes, see, I've got my, I've got my uh, bodyguard glasses on. Nobody will mess with me. 
<laughs> if they see these, Mr. Duncan. But I have to keep a lookout. Holland. You know Someone has said Holland. Not oh, Holland. No. No, somewhere else. Not Holland. Definitely not Holland. Okay. We are now going to reveal a place in which we are talking to you live now and see if you can guess where it is. One, two, three. Okay, here we go. The Three big the, the big well, you have to come over here, Steve. <laughs> okay then, we're not in the studio now. Are you ready? Wait for these people to go by. Okay then. <laughs> I I, lo I love uh, the general and, public. And uh, unfortunately, we don't know much of the local language, so uh, that's not going to help us very much. Oh yes, much. that's a, that's another clue. There is also a local language here as well. So it's not English. English is not spoken in this particular place. So there is another clue. I, I really do wish that I'd bought my reading glasses with me because I can't see the live chat. Super cool, says Kim. Italy, oh. says Alice. No. Spanish, no, Isabel. It's not Spain. Maybe somebody's already said where it is and we haven't. Suddenly no. lies. Ah, well, be careful, be careful. Somebody's got it right. Oh, somebody, somebody's got it right. Somebody's got it right. Well yes. done. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maria says it sounds like Steve. It sounds like you have hay fever. Uh, let's just say a couple of people have got it. Yeah, can you just <laughs> right? <get it. laughs> they've got it right, and judging they've got it right, it seems by looking at the state of the area where we are, they are noticing that it's very dirty where we are. Okay, here we go. The big reveal is coming up. Right. Are you ready? Are you ready to see where we are? Come over here, Steve. You have to. No, well, where I am. I never know where Mr. Duncan wants I think, me to go. I think Steve is new to this broadcasting. Here we go. Ready? We're going to turn okay. the camera. We're going to turn the camera around. Three, okay. three, two, one. Yes, we are at the moment in Paris, the most romantic place in the world. Also, it is the most dustiest place in the world. I don't, I've never been to such a dusty place. I don't know why, but the ground, just, let's just have a look at the ground. Let me just show you the ground. The ground here is just dust and it's everywhere. And that's the reason why Mr. Steve has been sneezing his head off because everywhere is very dusty. Not only that, but there are people everywhere as well. Now, now this, this area here isn't very busy, as you can see but not very far away from where we were just walking. There are so many people, aren't there, Steve? Uh, uh, there certainly are, Mr. Duncan. Yes, and uh, I think we were a bit surprised by the dust, but uh, we're getting over that because this is a holiday and we're having a fabulous time and it's getting very hot. It must be at least 24, 25 degrees here. Um, are we going up the Eiffel Tower, Mr. Duncan? We are not going up the Eiffel Tower, but we will stand here and look at the Eiffel Tower. Now, the Eiffel Tower, a lot of people ask, how did the Eiffel Tower get its name? Well, when they first showed the design for this tower to a group of architects, they all said, oh, sacre bleu, that is an awful tower. So that's how the awful tower got its name, because people thought it looked awful. Is that right, Steve? Uh, I don't know. You've looked up the history, uh, but certainly it's very impressive. No, I'm just joking, actually, Steve. No, no of course, it's, it's named after Gustave Eiffel. There we go. So that's it. I was just joking, you see. I was Mr. just... Duncan, I've got an idea. Why don't you stay live? I'll go up to the top of the Eiffel Tower and then I'll wave to you. <laughs> that, is a, that, zoom in. that is a terrible idea. Shall we move around slightly? Because um, this, this, this might be the most... Look, look at the place that we're in. It looks like we're in the middle of a desert. We're not in the desert. This is actually the centre of Paris at the moment. And it's... Uh, go on, Steve, you can do it. 
Anything? I'm looking. I'm looking to see if uh, Lewis is here. Oh, okay. Because uh, Lewis lives in Paris. Yes, that's great. Okay. So I'm looking to see if he's on today. Okay. And whether he can see that we're here. So. Yes. Lewis, are you there? So, so wh why would that be interesting? Well, because one of our viewers probably could be walking right under the Eiffel Tower as we speak. You one know, of your you most know, loyal viewers. You know, there's, there's a, the chances of that. You know, Paris is a pretty big city and France is a very big country. It is, it is. So we ought to, we ought to uh, say a few French words. Bonjour. Mr. Duncan. Bonjour. Comment allez-vous? Bonjour, madames and messieurs. Je m'appelle Monsieur Duncan. How's that? Uh, merci, merci. He's, can you see he's trying to keep me out of the camera? He keeps pushing me out of the camera. No, what I'm trying to do is get the Eiffel Tower behind us. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> no, Steve, I'm not trying to get rid of you. I'm trying I'm to... Just to look. Yes. The one around. Right there, Steve. I don't know why, but Steve quite often forgets that you need to have a microphone near you before you actually speak. So, there we go. We're now in a very quiet corner, and now you can see for sure, you can see for certain where we are. So just behind me, it is the famous Paris landmark, the Eiffel Tower. So there it is, and that is where we are. So we arrived here this morning. We've been here for about five, maybe six hours. So far, we're not sure what to make of Paris. It is a very busy place. The, the first thing I noticed, Steve, was all the pollution. It's the same as any city around the world, Mr. Duncan. They're all polluted. Yes, uh, but yes, but the problem is I'm not used to it because, I, because normally I'm in the countryside. Well, I did tell you to take a puff of your asthma medicine oh, thanks. before we left oh, thanks, the hotel. Thank, thanks for telling everybody that. They all know about your asthma issues. <laughs> well, they do now anyway. Can you guys please speak lower? Hello? Hello, is this low enough? No, may, maybe uh, not so, maybe the microphone's turned up too high, Mr. Duncan. Really? Maybe that could be it. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe it is. Can you hear us now? Okay, well, maybe it's Mr. Steve, because he does have this habit of shouting. We see how Mr. Duncan's uh, hogging the camera to himself. Well, I'm, I'm holding the camera, that's why. So that you can get the, the Eiffel Tower in. I was going to bring a tripod, but Steve says, don't, don't take a tripod, because people will come and they'll say, why? Why have you got a tripod? I didn't say that. That's what I you said. I say that. that. That is what Steve but said. We're arguing already. Uh, oh, interesting. What? Uh, you so cool. <laughs> Comment allez-vous? Okay. Uh, je suis très en. Yeah, the, these aren't these aren't these aren't comments that are very interesting, by the way. Okay, nice Please. to see you both. Okay, is that it? <laughs> thanks, Steve. <laughs> thanks for thanks for the input. <laughs> so there it is. We are we are. I don't know what to do now. Now now we've now we're standing under the Eiffel Tower. I, d I don't really know what to do now, Steve. Uh, maybe words uh, or uh, idioms connected with towers. How about that, Mr. Duncan? Well, there are quite a few idioms connected to tower or towers. You can be, a person can be a tower of strength. If someone is a tower of strength, it means they have strong character. Or maybe they can be relied on to keep their cool in situations that might cause upset or anxiety so a person who remains cool and calm we can say that they are a tower of strength just like that you see can you think of any others mr duncan um no <laughs> i think that's the only one yes i can't think of any other tower idioms at the moment so he said the, the camera seems very chaotic well that's not my fault i was going to bring the tripod but Steve said we shouldn't use the tripod. I didn't say that. I didn't say that at all. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> right, okay, we're back now. I know one thing. Could you hold the microphone for a moment? Oh, yes. Okay. This, this is not easy to do. Okay, yes, the... That, that's better. 
The problem is I haven't got my tripod. I wanted to use my tripod. That's better. Oh, look. Can you see us now? Can I you see said to Mr. Duncan... <laughs> yes? ...that he could bring his tripod, but he said he didn't want to, so it's not my fault. OK, then. I, I, uh, did, I have brought my tripod. So... <laughs> When will you come to Vietnam? Well, we could come uh, maybe next week. How about that? What time is it now in France? Now it is 20 minutes past four. And it's, yes, about 4.20. So we are actually an hour ahead from the UK. So the UK, it is now 20 past three. But here in France, here in Paris, Gay Paris, it is 20 past four. I haven't seen that. Yes, where is Lewis? Says Tias. Yeah. I have already said, where is Lewis? <laughs> Would he know? I mean, that's quite fantastic. He must be here somewhere. Uh, he can watch this live stream later. I think he's so. obviously he's probably at work. I think so. No, I don't think Lewis is at work because I think he's at retirement age. He's one of our senior, uh, more senior, uh, loyal viewers. And uh, I would assume that he's probably having a siesta. Yeah, so if you've just joined us and you're not sure where we are, we are actually in Paris at the moment. Just to prove it, there is the Eiffel Tower just behind us. Now, of course, we could have been in Las Vegas because in Las Vegas, they also have a replica of the Eiffel Tower. But no, this is the real Eiffel Tower in the center of Paris. So I hope you are enjoying the views even though there is there is something i've noticed steve it, it would appear that most of the landmarks most of the famous buildings seem to be having renovation work including of course the, the building that was in the news recently notre dame cathedral so notre dame is not very far away from here is it it isn't uh and in fact, uh, we thought at first that the Eiffel Tower was covered in scaffolding. And then we realised that it actually looks like that <laughs> normally. <laughs> just a joke, just a joke. Yes, OK then. Uh, of course, this could all be one of Mr Duncan's green screens. This is definitely not. Uh, we might not be here at all. It could be a green screen. This is not a green screen. This is real. We are really here on... I, I can't remember what day it is. It's, it's it, Tuesday it's, today. It doesn't feel like Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Tonight we're going on a river cruise. Yes, so many buildings are being renovated or, of course, restored. We could also say restoration. So if you restore something, it means, means you make it look as good as it did when it was new. Yes, unfortunately, when you restore old buildings, they quite often... Uh, are much more susceptible to uh, catching fire. Yes, uh, especially old buildings that are made of wood. And this has happened a lot in, in, in quite a few famous buildings or old buildings around Europe, apparently, that they start to restore them. And in fact, it's happened in, in uh, York, in the UK, uh, that people st uh, try to restore buildings and then something goes wrong, the equipment goes wrong and they burned down well that was 35 years ago and yes. and, the, and can you believe it they are still restoring it's york minster a very famous cathedral and it burnt down or was very badly damaged by fire 35 years ago and they're still renovating it now and and, and do you remember after notre dame steve yes after the fire they were saying that they will be able to restore it in just five years I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's going to take much longer than five years to restore Notre Dame. President Macron said he would restore it in five years, but any expert has said it's at least 20 years. Yes, of course. Uh, Talking of President Macron, on Thursday night this week, I love the way Steve keeps putting his finger over the camera. Oh, do I? Yes. OK, <laughs> OK, right. Uh, we haven't. Somebody asked, have we been to Notre Dame yet? No, not yet. No, but we are uh, we, talking about it at the moment. Because we haven't, we've only been here literally about two hours. Well, we, we came here this morning. We've been here for about five, maybe six hours now. So we've been here for, for the morning and the afternoon. 
so we haven't long arrived to be honest but what i was saying is on thursday evening steve here president macron is going to make a, a, a very important address to to the people of paris and france mm -hmm. oh, about wow. concerning the yellow vest protests so th there are a lot of things and we are here for the rest of the week aren't we we are indeed uh, so assuming we don't fall out <laughs> I'm only joking, Mr. Duncan. Uh, Steve does say the strangest things sometimes. So we are here for the rest of the week. So we will be here when President Macron makes his big speech to the nation. Yeah, the, the, I think the, the camera is shaking because I'm trying to hold it in one hand. I should have brought the tripod, but it's Steve's fault. Well, do, uh, you have very shaky hands, Mr. Duncan. Well, it's shaky. You? Well, you try and hold it like this. Do you it's, want me to hold it for you? Wait there. Let me just hold it. That's better. Yes, it's not, it's not easy to hold this. I'm acting as Mr. Duncan's bodyguard. Yes. Because, you know, when you're in the, uh, a major city like this, we're susceptible to uh, pickpockets and unsavoury people. So Well, we, we, we even, they gave us a leaflet. They gave us a piece of paper in the hotel and it has all these warnings about what not to do when you're walking around Paris. So I must admit, before we even left the hotel, I did feel a little, a little nervous, to say the least. Well, Mr. Duncan, we will be, are we going to be doing other live streams while we're here? Well, I don't know, because we have other things planned during the week. So we're not just doing this. We're not just doing live streams. We will be doing other things as well. So we won't always be able to, to talk to you on the live stream. I'm sorry about that. We've got a packed schedule a packed schedule which means that we have a lot of things to do oh. uh, there's something else I've noticed every few moments we can hear we can hear ambulances and police cars that's the same in any major city mr. Duncan um, it's just that you don't get out very much the thing is we live in the countryside it's not about me getting out. I don't know why you keep saying that. But I'm joking. Mr. Duncan, you're taking it all too seriously. Yes. You know, it... you've got to be... Uh... Anyway, oh, I, need oh, have keep, I? I keep, need to what, keep on the lookout. What have, I, what have I got to people. be, Steve? Have, okay. I got, have I got to be able to take a joke, have I? No, you mustn't come uh, close. This is Mr. Duncan. Stay away. Keep ten yards away at all times. Don't, don't you know who I am? I'm Mr. Duncan from YouTube. <laughs> I don't think anyone cares, to be honest. They don't care and they don't know. Well, Mr. Duncan, you are near Lee. Oh, Louis is here now. Hello, Louis. Yes, OK, you don't have to shout in the, in the microphone. I don't think I'm, uh, I don't think I'm uh, shouting. Uh, I think you are. Uh, I'm uh, acting as a bodyguard. For right there. Mr. Duncan. Right there, Steve. There we go. So Louis says you are near Lena's Bridge. Are we? I don't know. I haven't seen Lena's Bridge can yet. I, can I tell you something that surprised me about this? Everywhere is closed off. So, so all around the Eiffel Tower, there, there, is, there is sort of plastic screening screens all around the Eiffel Tower. So you can't get near it. And everywhere around here, look behind me, everywhere is having renovation at the moment. So all of the park near the Eiffel Tower is actually having renovation. So a lot of it is actually closed. You can't get near any of the grass or the parks. So they are all actually shut. They are closed off. So we, we haven't really got many places to walk around here. We were surprised, weren't we? Well, I, it's, yes, well, we found this lovely spot uh, and I'm going to, oh, yes. Mm, okay, that was a good uh, sentence. I'm just looking at the live stream, you see. Okay. Uh, I'm seeing what Lewis is saying because obviously Lewis lives in Paris and we knew that, but we didn't want to say anything. Um, what a surprise. Yes, exactly. We're so pleased to be in your town that you've lived in for 30 years. Or even city. City for 30 years. So, uh, cancel. What I'm have not you done? Sure. I'm not sure, Mr. Duncan. Okay. I'm not sure what I've done. Press cancel. Ah, Oof, this is good. You know what it's like when I get. Uh, oh, what are you? <laughs> I'm trying well, to touch the screen, Mr. Yes. Duncan. Well, we don't have a tripod, Steve. We don't have a there tripod. We go. 
Uh, let's go to the bottom. Okay, this is brilliant. Um, um, are you enjoying watching Steve scroll the live stream? The weather here is much warmer than in Britain. It's really warm here. It's much warmer, yeah. It's also very dusty. It's quite dusty and quite polluted. I, I'm it not is. used to this because I live in the countryside. There's, there's, there's a lot of people saying things and you're going past. Yes, I was just seeing what Lewis was yes. saying because this obviously is... Well, Lewis has said, well, surprise, you are in Paris, France. We there we are. go. That's uh, it, yes. Hello. I think, I, think we've no, I think everyone knows now where we are. Yes, we are in Paris, the romantic place and also maybe the dustiest place in the world. There is dust everywhere. The temperature today is about 20 degrees. It must be more than that, Mr. Duncan. Oh, OK. Then Steve says it's more than 20 degrees. Because I'm very warm. Yeah, but, but you are wearing your big coat. I've got to look out for people, you know, who might be trying to uh, approach Mr. Duncan. No, stay. No, stay away. You mustn't come within 10 yards of Mr. Duncan. I'm his bodyguard, you know. I look so tough, you see, people would, would, they wouldn't come anywhere near me, they'd just not, be scared still. I'm not sure about that. I'm getting really bored standing here now. Let's move around a bit. There's a, there, there's, the, this is a very strange area because, and the reason why I say it's a strange area is because there's nothing really here. It's just lots of dusty well, it's, paths. It's the Eiffel Tower, Mr. Duncan. There's Eiffel Towers here. Yes, I know the Eiffel Tower is here, but look. I cleaned your shoes, Mr. Duncan, and now they're filthy. Yes, look, everywhere is dusty. We've got to go to a, a posh restaurant tonight, and I don't know how you're going to get those shoes clean in time. Well, you, you just wipe them with a cloth. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, I'm just seeing what time it is. Uh, oh, it's, it's not too late. Uh, <laughs> Yes, yeah, so here we go back towards the Eiffel Tower. We're not going to go up today because we haven't got time. No, there's, there's a huge queue as well. There's about 150 people waiting to go up the Eiffel Tower, so we don't have time to go up today, I'm afraid. It's hardly surprising. It's a major tourist attraction. And of course, it's Easter week. So Easter was last weekend, so a lot of people are actually here now in Paris enjoying an extended holiday. Ah, the, the tower is fading away behind the trees. Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> is anyone still watching? Stay away from people, well, what you mean here in this amazing dusty... <laughs> this is really... But it's dusty everywhere. I'm very sorry everyone, but this might be the most boring view ever. Look at that. I mean, I've come all the way to Paris and this is what I find. This it's is it. It's fine, Mr. Duncan, it's fine. But we're just, this is the area of the Tour Eiffel. Giovanni says, you are in Paris. Yes, we are in Paris at the moment. But I must admit, a lot of the places are closed because they are all being renovated. And also around here, there is renovation work taking place here everywhere, isn't there, Steve? But you can go up the, uh, you can go up, the lifts are working, so we could... Uh, pay and go up the Eiffel Tower. Uh, so yes, I think we may well do that, but not today. No. Um, it's more, I think it is probably more cloudy, uh, but... Um, than where? Uh, than uh, England. Eng oh, I see. Oh, is that the question? Are yes, you it's... in a mission, says uh, Giovanni. In a mission? Are you in mission? I don't know what that means. Yes. <laughs> uh, we've just come to Paris to have a look round. And now we're staying for a few days and then we're going to go back to England and then we will carry on doing our lovely live streams for you every Sunday. Isn't that nice? It is, Mr. Duncan. <laughs> I think we've got people who might want to visit us while we're here, Mr. Duncan. Here where? In Paris. I don't think so. Well, we can't because we've got a busy week. We have. <laughs> so how, uh, we, how can we meet people if we're doing things? That's yeah, but we're not busy all the time. Okay, oh, then. Oh, okay. I'm getting a bit confused here. <laughs> we won't be able to do much this week because Mr. Steve is busy. But now, apparently, if you want to come and see us now, you can come and see us now. We're, we're just by the Eiffel Tower and you can take us for a drink at a lovely cafe. 
we can have a cup of espresso. I think people want to know where we're staying. They may want to come and see as you see. Oh, I see. Well, we can't do, we can't do. I'm, there's no way on earth I'm telling people where we're staying. That is not happening. Oh, can I just show you something? Yes, go on. A lot of people riding scooters. These little electric scooters around the centre of Paris, I've noticed. So there are a lot of people using scooters, although I haven't seen any here, but I wanted to show you one because it just went past, but they've gone now, Steve. Uh, the question I want to ask Lewis is, should we be wearing berets? What? Should we be wearing berets in France? Yeah. Or is that not appropriate okay. anymore? Steve, have you seen anyone wearing a beret? I just saw a man wearing what looked like a beret. Uh, or maybe it was... That's not a beret. What is it? That's a, that's a cap. That's a tidfer. Yes, I haven't seen anyone wearing berets. That's a flat cap. And uh, I flat. haven't seen anyone riding a bicycle uh, with onions around their neck, okay, which is what then. we were expecting. So this is... Uh, this, this is how we perceive French people. Is this, not well, a... no, this is how you perceive <laughs> French people. For those who are wondering, we are actually at the foot of the Eiffel Tower. So the Eiffel Tower is now behind us. It's a live stream. It's a live stream on a Tuesday and we are live from Paris. And it's myself, Mr. Duncan, and also Mr. Steve. There Hello. he is. Hello, here I am. Yes, I'm here with Mr. Duncan. He's dragged me outside <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we've got to Paris. And instead of going around all the tourist places, we've come here to do a live stream. So which I think is quite amazing, don't you? That but Mr this... Duncan's dedication to his worldwide viewers. But of all the places we could have gone to today, you know, there are, there are beautiful museums, wonderful architecture, and this is where we end up. Let me just show you where we are at the moment. Here, this is where we are. Can you see this? Isn't it amazing? <laughs> It's very dusty here. So this is the area just next to the Eiffel Tower. Now, normally there's lots of green grass that you can enjoy and sit on. But at the moment, it's all closed off. It is, unfortunately. They are doing lots of renovation work. However, we do have the Eiffel Tower. If you stay there, Steve, there, there is Steve. Look, and just behind him, just behind Steve, is the Eiffel Tower. There it is. Eiffel Tower, Mr. Steve. Eiffel Tower, Mr. Steve. Dust, Mr. Steve. Eiffel Tower, Dust, Eiffel Tower, Mr. Steve. There it is. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> I did, Mr. Duncan. Um, I'm feeling a bit thirsty. I don't know about you, Mr. Duncan. Would you like, would you like a drink? I think I would like a drink. Uh, is there anything else we can talk about in, in, in the way of teaching people English? Probably not, because we're really on holiday. I must, say, I must say one thing. Everybody, all the women look incredibly stylish. Yes. Or so do the men. It is very true what they say about uh, uh, French people. They look very stylish very elegant and very sophisticated <laughs> very sophisticated everyone all the young people here Steve we said this earlier all the young people look as if they've stepped out of a Vogue magazine they all look very fashionable and very trendy Ooh. but all the old people like us we look very scruffy and all, also a lot of the young people are riding around on on, on motorized scooters Johnny says that he's go Johnny L is going to Paris on May the 20th. Oh, well, well, welcome to Paris. I hope you have a great time here. How's the weather, says Giovanni? It's quite warm. It's, uh, it's uh, probably about 20, I reckon it's about 23, 24 degrees. Yes, maybe, maybe uh, 22, 23. So, yes, it's very, very, uh, it's, it's lovely. Uh, oh, right. Uh, Lewis says something about the other side opposite the Eiffel Tower. There is a military school. There is. There is a huge building opposite. It's beautiful, but it is absolutely full 
of people, the whole area, it, it, where the bridge and the main road is, because the, the road actually runs underneath the Eiffel Tower. But can I just say that over in that direction, over there, <laughs> it is absolutely full of people. There are so many people, and that's the reason why we are here in this little dusty corner. I don't know why Mr Duncan should be surprised. This is the capital of France, probably the most visited city in Europe or the world. And Mr Duncan's surprised that there are lots of people here. I say you shouldn't have been surprised, Mr Duncan. Well, You've I'm not... probably seen more people in the last <sighs> two hours than you've seen in the whole of the last six years. <laughs> yes, yes, but um, anyway. Thanks for that, Steve. I'm only really joking, Mr Duncan. <laughs> I do like the way Mr Steve portrays me as a very sad, lonely person. Maybe I am. Maybe I am sad and lonely. Maybe I am. I'm only joking, Mr Duncan. You always tell me I should take a joke. And you should too. Um, <laughs> I'll try my actually, best. Actually, perfect. it's perfect weather here, really, because it's not too hot. It's not too cold. It's perfect. I'm actually overdressed. How okay. will you communicate with the French? Uh, says uh, Michelin. Uh, I don't want to speak English out of principle. Yes, a lot of the French... Well, I think in Paris they do because it's a very cosmopolitan city and everybody so far has spoken English to us. Um, literally everybody, nobody has spoken French to us. They just assume... Then we must look English or something. Here we go. Look, look at all the people now. There is a tour taking place here. So you can see there are lots of people on tours. So this here is actually a tour taking place. A lot of people from, from Asia I've noticed here today. A lot of people from Asia. Also, all over the world. Yes, so many, many people. Let's show the tower again, Mr. Duncan. Here's the tower for those who don't believe me. We are now in Paris, France. And there, it looks like the Eiffel Tower is actually growing out of a tree, but it isn't, trust me. This is the first holiday we've had for eight years. It's true. We haven't been abroad for, for eight years. The last time we went was, was to Turkey. So the last time we went anywhere was Turkey, and that was in, I think it was 2012, hmm. a long time ago. I'm still uh, on the lookout for people that might want to... Uh, I, I'm surprised that we, you haven't been spotted yet, Mr Duncan. We haven't got a crowd of people around you. Yes, I'm, or... not, sh I'm not sure. I'm not sh do I wonder if we have many, many people watching in France. I wonder. OK, there we go. Let's walk back over here, Steve and then we will we will end it we will, I think we will we will end it all <laughs> do you like my stylish glasses I think your glasses look very sophisticated and cool I won these in a raffle yes very nice many years ago I haven't paid for them very good Steve my lips are very dry but that could of course be the flight um, well as soon as the plane got into the air it, it started coming back down again it was yes. only an hour it is incredible we got on the we got on the plane at Birmingham and then we, we went into the sky and then like five minutes later the pilot said we are going to land. Oh my God, I can't see. There is dust flying everywhere. We well, are in the worst place. How about this? This looks stylish, Mr. Duncan. Oh, it's, I can't see anything. I, I've literally got dust flying into my eyes every time the wind blows. This is terrible. It's I can't, fine, Mr. Duncan. I, I can't, but I wasn't expecting... I wasn't expecting this much dust. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of when I was living in China. I'm trying to look stylish, Mr. Duncan. Stylish. <laughs> Put these back on. Yes, please, please put the hat back on. You see, I can adopt many different looks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think two is many. <laughs> let's go, let's go over here. Wait, shall we sit down for a moment? I don't know about you, but I am really tired. We're about, we're about three miles away from the hotel as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, I didn't know. Yes, we are a lot quite. Yeah, I think we'll take one of these uh, free electric scooters. Oh, here we go. 
uh, and go back to the hotel. Here we go. So, so these are all over Paris. As you walk around, you see these, these little electric scooters. They are everywhere. Do you want to have a go, Steve? Oh, you've got to scan it to unlock it. Oh, you have to scan to un scan unlock. To OK, then. Can't you, can't you ride it, though? No, you've got to scan it with something. OK, we, we can't hear you. <laughs> you have to scan it with something. Oh, I see. And then it would unlock it, but I'm not sure what you scan it with. OK, so these things are all around Paris. They're everywhere. So you, you just, I think what you do is you pay for a token and then that means you can ride around Paris for so long, for so many minutes. So there it is. So these are all over the place. Quite often they're being ridden by young people. Quite often young couples riding together with the boy on the front and the girl standing at the back. So, so probably not no good for us. Yes. We're Prob probably far too old to be riding on one of these scooters. I wonder, I wonder if Lewis uh, rides on one of the scooters. Uh, if you're still there, Lewis, do you? Oh, yes. Louvre Museum, yes. We're going to uh, Montmartre uh, tomorrow, I think. That's on the schedule. We're on, we're on a scheduled tour uh, there tomorrow with a, with a large group of people. So we're going to, uh, the, we'll probably go to the Louvre, I don't know. Uh, we haven't got that much free time, strangely enough, because uh, the, we, we've sort of put ourselves on all these organised tours. We are doing some organised tours. Uh, we, we are, so we're being picked up very early tomorrow and we're going to Montmartre and to the, and to the um, Pompidou. Sacré Coeur, I think. Then we're off to the Pompidou Centre at some point. Um, and other exciting places, but we won't say where. We're going somewhere very exciting on Friday, but we won't reveal that until we're there. Hmm. Anyway, we've got to go because we are on now on low battery power. The battery's run out already. Yeah, so let me just turn around so we can see the Eiffel Tower behind us one last time. And then we will go... Oh, look at that. Come over here, Steve. There, look. So just to prove to you that, that we are in Paris at the moment. And there is the Eiffel Tower saying hello as well. So now you know where we are. We have come all the way to Paris for a lovely few days rest. Isn't that lovely? So we're going now because the battery in my phone is about to die. Yes, well, we may go to the Chateau de Versailles, I don't know, uh, but we've got uh, plenty of places to visit and uh, hopefully we'll, do an, we'll have time to do another live stream, but we will let you know. Please send us emails and, uh, <laughs> and so that, uh, yeah, we, just want to, we just want to hear from you. Yes, that's nice. So we will catch you maybe during the week, I don't know, it depends, but we have quite a few things planned. We are going on many tours many trips and many lots of beautiful meals as well so we're going now special hello to lewis because we know he lives here and uh, a special hello to everybody else as well but especially to lewis yes and we are going now because my battery is about to die unfortunately so would you like to say goodbye steve uh i would like to say au revoir uh and uh, see you all again very soon merci monsieur steve and i will go as well maybe catch you during the week this is mr duncan <laughs> in paris france in front of the eiffel tower saying thank you very much for joining me today live and we'll see you later and of course you know what's coming next ta-ta for now or should i say au revoir.